Carl says, uh, on last week's show, you talked about logging in with Apple ID. What's the difference between that and using the hide my email feature? I use hide my email if I have to sign into a new app or website using an email address as a login name. So this is a great question because I guess last time we didn't really clarify. We had the question about sign in with Apple and how that works. So we kind of talked about that. These two features are somewhat related, but also separate. So when you're using the hide my email feature, um, that is something you can use when say you're signing up for a service or an account on a website and you want to use an aliased version or not your actual iCloud email address. So what Apple will do is they will generate a alias email address. And I think it usually shows it to you. We also talked about last time where you can go and review uh, the emails that you've set up, but it creates a fake quote unquote alias email address that's given to the site you're registering with. So they don't have your actual iCloud email. And then what that will do is that will relay through Apple's servers and go to your actual iCloud. So you're not disclosing your email address to said service when you're registering for it. And you can use that, you know, when you're when you're signing up directly. Now the thing is there if you're signing up directly for an account with that service and it asks you a bunch of other questions like what's your name, what is your, you know, what what security questions do you want, you know, all those things that you get, what's your address, what's your phone number, what's your it's you're you're providing all of that data to that service or website that you're signing up with. If you're using sign in with Apple, the big difference is, is you can still use an alias email. You can choose an option to use an alias email. So IE not provided that service, your actual email address. But when you're registering or logging into that website, what is actually happening is you're going to Apple's servers, you're authenticating and registering with Apple. And if it's creating a new account for you, then what happens is after Apple has verified that you know your Apple login, they send a token or just basically a encrypted key back to the main service along with the bare minimum amount of information they need to create an account for you if you haven't created an account yet to register you. Usually that's just your first name, last name, I think in most cases, and then Again, if you've chosen to use the hide my email address, the that aliased email, and then it creates the account and logs you in. But the key difference there is you're logging in through Apple's servers, not through the third party servers. 